Hey, what's going on, everyone? It's B. Avery here for another trailer reaction. It's San Diego Comic Con right now, 2017, and Netflix just released their Marvel's The Defenders official trailer number two. First trailer came out a number of months ago. I thought it was pretty good, pretty excited about it, but now we got trailer number two. So, of course, I'm expecting new footage. I can't wait to watch this trailer. I can't wait for this season to drop next month in the middle of August. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. As far as all the Marvel Netflix series, I really did enjoy the first two seasons of Daredevil. I also love Luke Cage, especially the first half of the season opposed to the second half. And I really did enjoy Jessica Jones too, but Iron Fist, that was very disappointing and left a bad taste in my mouth. But anyway, that is in the past and now we are in the present. And I can't wait to watch this trailer, so let me go ahead and put on these headphones. And y'all can stop listening to me talk, but watch me. Watch the trailer. Here we go. The thing about war is it only works if both sides believe they're the good guys. The truth is we're not so different. We fight to get back what was once ours. But in the end, and this is the end. It's just a city. You'll get used to watching them fall. I think we're safe for now. We need to figure out our next move. No, there's no next move. And there is no we. What is that? We're not here to eat. Are those pork? No, the shrimp. Oh, this guy's got pork. God, you're weird. I'm not looking for super friends. It doesn't matter. Can't fight these people. Not even with whatever it is your hand can do. It's cheap. It's not. They're hunting our friends, our families, and they're not gonna stop there. More death is coming. And the only thing keeping Manhattan from crumbling to a pile of dust is the four of you. The war for New York, it's over. Not yet. Nice ears. They're horns. I can see you've formed a kind of bond. I promise you it's temporary. Electra. Oh, they will disappoint you. Jessica! Like it or not, we belong out there, together. I'm glad we found each other. I'm not hugging you. It's been a long week. Hey, go ahead and get your drink on August 18th. All right. Off real quick. Now, that was a pretty good trailer. I'm going to be honest with you. As you saw from my reaction, I'm not just super duper excited. I'm not just like, oh my God, that was the best trailer in the world. I can't wait. No. Um, I did expect more from it, but you know. It's just a trailer. You know, we do have eight episodes coming, like I said, August 18th. So hopefully it is as good as I anticipate it to be. One scene that stood out for me and watching that was the one with Sigourney Weaver. And I don't know the actress's name, the older Asian uh, lady that I think her name was Madam Gal. She uh, hit Daredevil with that palm fist in uh, Daredevil season one and knocked his ass back like 10, 15 feet. Like, OK, dude, I know you're good, but I'm on a completely different level. So I wonder who is the main baddie in this? Is it her? Madam Gal? That's, is, that, is that I feel like that is not her name. Madam Gal or Madam Woe? I'm getting the names mixed up with one of those Spider-Man villains because he does have somebody named Madam Gal or Woe. Let me know in the comments. But I'm really curious to know who who is more powerful, Sigourney Weaver or um, the older uh, Asian lady that, we've, that you just saw in the trailer and you've seen her in other seasons as well. Um, 
I don't see Sigourney Weaver as being like uh, some grand martial artist or, you know, someone with powers or fighting. And I believe that her character uh, was made up for this series. I don't think it's a character that came from uh, this the uh, the comics or whatever, which is fine. You know, I'm not like a stickler like that. Like, who is this person? They run the whole series because it's not directly from the comics. I mean, I, I, mean, I care, but I don't care uh, for the most part. And when I say, I mean, when I say I care... I care in other stuff as far as them adapting the comic book or the source material. This particular show right here, I don't mind. And I'll so going to move it, yeah, Alexandra. I don't know that character. Um, that we did get glimpses of Elodie Young as Electra in this. I don't know if she's gonna be playing a good guy, a bad guy, or both. Uh she may be, you know, kind of paranoid. But it looks like, you know, the defenders, they're not getting along too great. They're not looking for super friends. But I don't know. If I had superpowers, I would want to find as many super friends as possible. But, you know, everybody's different. So uh, we're just going to see. I did like seeing them, you know, back to back. And I kind of wonder what character is going to take the lead. And, you know, I'm also curious to see, you know, be, um, how Matt Murdock, uh, Daredevil, you know, he's going to be the only one wearing a costume, it looks like. Um, there in Luke Cage, there was glimpses of him in his uh, comic book costume, where he was like, "Man, you look like a damn fool." When he looked into the reflection, and he had the yellow shirt on or whatever. Um, I don't, I, don't, I doubt that we'll get a costume for Iron Fist until his season two comes, and I, I'm, I, I want that to be, show to be good because I mean it's based out of martial arts, so. I'm a martial arts guy, but that that season was kind of crappy or whatever. But, you know, these are just my thoughts of the trailer and guys, which is just my opinion. But like, what is your opinion? How do you feel about this new Defenders trailer 2 um, that was just released at Comic-Con? Did you hate it? Did you like it? Do you agree with me or do you disagree with me? Did it turn you on? Did it turn you off? Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't like this video, that's perfectly fine. Just leave me a comment below why. And still, give me the thumbs up. Since you're watching this video on YouTube, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel so you can get all the content that I have to provide. You can also go to my website, bookmark it, and check me out there. And also look me up on social media. And guys, right now it's Friday as I'm reacting to this. But tomorrow is the big day. We got Warner Brothers in the morning and Marvel in the afternoon or in the evening. And what I am most anticipated, what I'm just excited for, my most anticipated and what I'm most excited for is the Black Panther trailer that will possibly be released tomorrow during their Hall H panel. When the first one dropped during uh, June 9th game for the NBA Finals, I was ecstatic, super duper excited. I mean, this is my most anticipated movie in life. And a dream come true for me is if I can be there on the red carpet with all the uh, actors and the stars and whatnot. I mean, whether I'm on the red carpet or on the side with the fans, either is good for me. I will be happy either way. But of course, I'd rather be on the thing on the red carpet with the stars. Is it a long shot? Yeah, you know, but I'm going for it. And how can you help me get there? You can by sharing this video 1000 times. But guys, I just want to thank you again for tuning in for my opinion slash reaction for Netflix's Marvel's The Defenders trailer number two. And before you go, don't forget that my name is Brandon Keith Avery, and that's just my opinion. Peace.